a mess. Don't make a mess. Ooh. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be servicing our main yard tractor. It's a 6150R. I uh, use this tractor and loader to push snow, haul rock, basically our large utility tractor for the farm. So it's got just over 1500 hours on the engine. So we got to do some 1500 hour service for this tractor to make sure it's ready to go through this growing season. This is a 2014 uh, 6150R. Like I said, the first thing we got to do is we got to drain the oil out of this wheel hub and replace that. Oh, that's tight. Oops. And we'll stop, start dropping the oil here. Ooh. Looks like it was under pressure, came out a little quicker than what I was thinking. Now to fill her back up. To find the type of oil that goes in there, I could look through the operator's manual, which is pretty thick, or it come to my handy dandy app, which if I click on the right drive, it will show me the instructions with pictures. Here it is of what I got to do to change the oil. Uh, here it says the oil may be under pressure when it's hot. Remove drain slowly. Obviously didn't do that. And it'll tell me the type of oil I need. So this is the equipment app that I have on my phone through John Deere. It's almost impossible to do this without making a mess. So thankfully I washed the tractor yesterday, so now I gotta make the nice clean tractor all dirty again. Well this side's this side hub is done. Now let's hop over to the other side to see if we got lucky. And looks like we didn't, because we need this oil drain on the bottom to un to unload the oil. Well I actually did pretty good there, got it lined up. Now we're gonna we're gonna take out this plug on this side. Hopefully the oil doesn't go spitting all over again. Oh, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Don't make a mess, don't make a mess. Ooh. Yeah, I got a bath in it again. I gotta pull the tractor ahead again so that way that plug is level so I can fill it with oil. This tractor works good to do this because it's got a door on both sides. Uh, they used to have problems with these tractors rolling over when guys were mowing or doing different things, so it's actually got a door on both sides. The wheel hub oil is now changed in both of the hubs on the right side and the left side. Now we gotta change the oil in the axle for the front axle of the tires. This one should be really, really fun because the plug for it is way down. It's right there. So I got a pail. Hopefully the oil doesn't splatter all over. We'll get this one emptied. Then move on to the next one. Get the wrench on there. <clears throat> Gotta get a breaker bar. I brought a breaker bar. There's nothing special about this bar. It's just supposed to get a little bit more leverage. Let's see if I can get this plug off of here. And now I can't get it on the wrench. There we go. And that's why they call it a breaker bar, because it sounds like it breaks. It, it actually loosened the nut there. So now I should be able to come in here. She's she's hand loose. And some more oil to be recycled. Now we got to put the drain plug back in. That way we can fill it right back up with oil. I have to change the hydraulic oil and the hydraulic filters. And that's the worst job because you got to crawl under this thing on your hands and knees to change it and to dump the oil. But it's what we got to do. If you don't have a, a dump pit like some people do for their to drive the tractor over for doing stuff like this we don't have that in our shop so just doing it out on the gravel that way I don't make a mess in the shop I'm definitely by no stretch a master mechanic just kind of going off these pictures on the phone to gauge which plug I gotta take out to drop the oil and that's kind of how I gauge where the filter is just kind of learn as we go 
Here we go on the first one. Well, I got one of the two hydraulic filters out. Here's the one I got to put back in. It's actually pretty cool. Cool filter, says John Deere, all the way wrapped around, got the emblem. Probably a $200, $300 filter, but you only got to replace it every 1,500 hours. You got to crawl under here. So we'll see if we can get it back on. The wrench back on there. Come on. Boom. Is it in? There we go. Here's the last filter we got to get off. You guys might want to stay back. It might get a little dirty here. We'll see. Most of the oil should be out, but it seems like it'll run out forever. Just about off the threads. Here it comes. Stand back. Don't want you guys to get dirty. That's all with the hydraulic oil of dumping that and putting the filters on. So I figured I'd wipe off one last time, try to get as much oil off me so when I enter another cab it doesn't get all over. But just try to get that off before we fill it up with some new hydraulic oil. I gotta keep putting hydraulic oil in until the oil level gets between the minimum, which is this white mark on the on the gauge and the top. I got the hydraulic oil changed on this thing, took about 17 gallons. So we should be set for this thing on the 1500 hour service interval. Now, based on the book, the only other thing I have yet to change is this filter here. Got the hood up. Now let's see if we can turn this by hand to get this out of here or how exactly this comes out. Definitely looks like it needs to be changed. Super dirty in there. Got it out. Looks like this. It says it's the oil engine air separator. Now I'm hoping that I have some a filter like this back in the supply room. Here's all the filters. Uh, let's see here. I checked all of these filters. I didn't order one this winter. That's gonna work. That's gonna take her place of this one. So now I gotta call it in, order one of these filters. That way I have it and I put it in. Please leave a message and we will return your call. One thing I'm big on is writing down all the work we do to the tractor. So I got this book that has a page for every tractor that we have. And then we write down all the work that we did for it as well as the date and then the hours that are on it. That way when we come back we know exactly what needs to be serviced and when. So today we'll mark down that we changed the oil in the hubs, axle, and hydraulic oil. And since I forgot to look how many hours were on that tractor before I got out of it, I come on my operation center app, see that there's 1,676 hours on that tractor, and I will mark that down in the book. Well, we got a lot done today getting that tractor serviced. That way it's ready to run all season long. Hopefully you guys didn't get near as dirty or as full of oil as I did. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one.